Hello and welcome back to episode 2 of Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter. I'm Vic and you're watching yet another Let's Play channel. So let's see about following our, our prey. Stalking like a leopard. Hmm. Hmm. Do I want that? Maybe I want that. I do want that. And I also need to move faster. Oh, didn't want that. Up and over. There he is. Do we need to do a little balance walk? No, I don't. No, I'm not, I don't want to do that. I don't like that game. Oh no, you fell and now you have to do it again. What the heck? That's not a direction that works for me. Oh, I thought we were going to Spider-Man, but I guess we, uh... Well, I guess we still sort of Spider-Man, didn't we? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? Or I in the morning? Well, good. I'm glad we got the meme out of the way. Oi! What are you doing in my garden? Oi! Don't worry about it. You cannot see me. I have a feeling that if I fill up all the arrows, then he will spot me. And I will have to start over. And I would prefer not to do that. It's hard to imagine what he could do to look more suspicious than he is right now. And now we'll. He's shoe shine Jim from Chamber Street. He's mute because his drunk stepfather beats him. Hey Jim, can you lend me your kit? I'm on a secret mission for Mr. Holmes. And now we're going to play a shoe shining mini game. Um, this could be useful with a small brush. I should remove the dirt first. Well, why didn't you start with that, huh? I should... Yeah, okay. So we we this one? I should... Did you fall asleep? Did you fall asleep? Isn't this fun? This is fun. We'll do it this time. If we have to shine any more shoes, though. I'm sorry, sir. I'm still learning. I'm gonna skip it. Oh, wow. I shined them so badly that he got suspicious of me. I like how I'm just supposed to know how to shine shoes. Those dogs are going to be a problem. In fact, let's just continue this away. Alas, the weather's good. Last week was freezing. Oh, I'm praying it doesn't get cold again. I've no money for cold.
Can I hitch a ride? I can't lose him now. Yeah, ride hitched. Interesting. What's going on in the yard? New quest, find a way into the yard? Oh. Can we? We can. And now we're doing a sneaking mission. I guess we were already doing a sneaking mission. This certainly seems to be a fancier part of town, doesn't it? Ah, oh, coat of arms. It might help Mr. Holmes. I'll make a drawing of it. Wow, a lot of expensive stuff. You know what? I like the Irregulars missions. I hope we do some more of that. I'm not sure that I want to be letting myself in. I can't see what's inside. Let's do a bit more creeping first. Maybe have a look in the front windows. I, we probably will have to go inside. I can't see what's inside. Oh, uh, maybe I can't peek in the front windows. I can't windows. see what's inside. I don't think I want to just try, try the front door. Oh, here we go. Bags of food. I like this ass. Yeah, why has he just got bags of potatoes? Do only two people live here? I wish one was me. Oh, if you're Come sneaky. To to Mr. Holmes. Let's get outside before I get caught. Oh. I mean, Wiggins, have you heard of frogging? You probably could just live in there and they wouldn't notice. Okay, good. We didn't have to get back there on our own. That much is nice. Wigan's tale was quite unusual. What do you make of what he found, Holmes? Wiggins did a good job. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Telescope. I, I can't look through the telescope in my own window anymore but I want to I want to see a large woman brandish a riding crop I mean this is London not newspapers encyclopedias maybe mm -hmm -hmm. All right, it could be marks and symbols, but it could be badges and medals. English coat of arms. There we go. The Marsh family. Nowadays, the representative of this family is Lord Edward Marsh, the well-known benefactor. He provides the poor people of Whitechapel with provisions, warm clothes, etc. Lord Marsh is also a re renowned as a co-founder of the special education program, which allows poor people the opportunity of an education. Here it is. So this man could be Lord Marsh. Huh. A lord who hangs around in a public house. Let's pay a visit to Lord Marsh. We'll pretend that we're interested in his charitable activities. So if we're pretending, do we need a costume? Mr. Holmes, you have a visitor. Oh, just ask him to wait. I'm afraid that won't be possible. This young lady refuses to wait for anything. What? Father! Caitlin! <laughs> Miss Caitlin's boarding school was flooded. Everyone was sent home. As if it could smell any mustier. <laughs> My word, how is it possible that you have grown up so fast? You'll be staying. Wherever will we put you? Holmes, I'll give her my room, of course. What do you have to say, Kate? You're on a new case. 
a respectable lady who's being blackmailed? Or is it a love story between a prince and a suffragist? However did you guess? You will tell me, won't you, Father? We'll see. If you behave. All right, then. Have fun. I'll go and unpack. Will you help me, Mrs. Hudson? No, thank you, Mr. Watson. Hmm? Can I look at my telescope now? No. Maybe that's why. Watson, how come your door has a wreath on it all of a sudden? Whatever. Can I can I do this? Map of London no. I have to run down to the end of the street to get a cab. Suddenly that seems rather tedious to me. I wonder how much side content I'm missing out on by not doing a big ol' explore. Maybe I'll do that in between recording sessions. Maybe I won't. All right, all kinds of stuff. Oh, Watson decided to come along this time, huh? You're not going to keep an eye on my daughter since I'm not doing it? I guess Mrs. Hudson is doing it. Practical motherhood and parentcraft? Are you studying to be a better mother, Sherlock? Holmes, about Caitlin. Yes? She has grown up, hasn't she? Don't you think it's time to... to tell her? To tell her what, Watson? Well, about her father. Never. Absolutely never. Do you hear me? Holmes, you were responsible for the death of her father. You owe her the truth. She is old enough now. I would lose her. Can't you see that? She must never know. Watson, is that clear? Holmes. It won't and can't happen. Well... Uh, I suppose we were all wondering when Sherlock fathered a daughter. Um, so that answers that. But who who was her father, and how did he die? Uh, come in, please. Wow. Good day, gentlemen. Welcome to my home. How may I help you? Good day to you, Lord Marsh. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Dr. Watson. Let's have a look at you and see if we can do it better this time. Why Why do I have to pick that right now? No, now it's letting me change. What's up with that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Strong painkiller. Okay. Embroidered motif, hunting club. Hmm. Yep. All right. I think I understand the game now. I hope we're not disturbing you. You are with your physician? Yes, this is Dr. Reuben Fisher. But no, please, I'm intrigued by your visit, Mr. Holmes. I'm glad to hear it. The last thing I'd wish is to upset the patient. Lord Marsh, can I just say that I admire all of your efforts in assisting the poor of London? Ah, uh, yes. It is a war that we must fight on our streets and now, too, from my home. You must surely have noticed those bags full of items, clothing, and books for the unfortunate. That is inspirational. Um, at my own humble level, I too try my best to support those in need. I thought perhaps that I could be of some assistance? 
I don't see why not. I already have the valuable assistance of Dr. Fisher, who happens to be my personal physician. It's curious. Your face seems familiar to me, Doctor. Oddly, I'm associating it with Whitechapel? Well done. You are right. I do occasionally frequent a few hostelries over there, would you believe it? <laughs> Not that I am a drinker. But there, dressed as a working man, I can approach the other fellows to see if they might be interested in a special job. A special job? May I ask what you're referring to? Certainly. Since Lord Marsh began his special education program in 1889, he foresaw that such people would need an occupation of some kind. And so, with or without education, we propose these opportunities to work with Lord Marsh. It offers the less fortunate a chance to help make London a better place. That's remarkable. Yes, indeed. In order to truly see, one requires vision, yes? But also insight. And Lord Marsh has believed this since he was a child. Oh, oh, Dr. Fisher makes it all sound so romantic. Let's close this topic. So the doctor is the, the mutton-chopped guy. Apparently Sherlock isn't the only one who can do disguises. Forgive me, Lord Marsh. You're looking very pale. Might I offer Dr. Watson's assistance? That is kind of you, but I feel confident that I can provide Lord Marsh with the care that he requires. How long have you been like this, my lord? I'm fine, Dr. Watson. <gasps> Don't fuss. It's only influenza. I'll be better in a few days. I can feel it already. In that case, why are you taking such powerful painkillers? Excuse me, what do you mean? Mr. Holmes is referring to the pills on your table. I'm sorry, but that's a medical confidentiality. Mm-hmm. It's always a good plan to lie to Sherlock Holmes, am I right? A provision dealing with the paupers of Whitechapel. Lord Marsh even helps hospitals. Are there going to be a bunch of these? I'm intrigued by the special education program. No shit, dude. It seems to be related to several disappearances. Quartermain Club. Lord Marsh, hunting with his friends. Quartermain. Ah, my dear comrades, Lord Collins and Lord Harrington. If it wasn't for this godforsaken English malady, I'd be with those rapscallions right now. All in due time, my lord. I think Last he's dying. Three orphans were put through medical college. Thanks to Lord Marsh and the special education program, a great many poor people will have a second chance in life. What am I looking at? Lord Marsh, here is the list of selected participants for the special education program in October. Looks to be a very promising event. Patrick Tanner, Thomas Kelly, John Strawbridge, William Thatcher, Reginald Staple. Mm -hmm. John Strawbridge, I've seen this name before. It was on a missing persons poster. So I believe that's two disappearances that we're associating Can't with this program now. Do you have any ideas to the number of people who might owe you their lives? Oh, don't embarrass me, Mr. Holmes. But indeed, these people have become like a family to me. That would be a fairly large family, I imagine. <laughs> yes, the, the list would be longer than any of your short stories. As for how large, well, Fisher is the one who keeps record. Might we take a glance at the list? I regret that is impossible. It is confidential. I stand firm upon that point, Mr. Holmes. I quite understand. We'll most certainly send a donation towards your educational program. I shall take my leave then. I thank you both and I wish you all the very best, gentlemen. Likewise, Mr. Holmes. Yeah, so how about I poke around the house some more instead? It appears that Lord Marsh spent a great deal of his money on aiding the poor. Humanitarian aid for an orphanage. Aid for the paupers of Lambeth Workhouse. It's extremely honorable to devote one's whole life to assisting the poor. Bags full of food. Can't even get upstairs. Hmm. Locked. Wasn't that titillating? 
It's shut tight. All right, let's have a look at our clues here. Look at them go. <laughs> All right. What do you mean? Okay. So we've got... Yeah, it sure looks like it's related at this point. <laughs> I think they're going to turn out to be related, but I suppose we need to find some more clues. Is. Do you suppose these people are being disappeared so they can be hunted? Uh... Investigate the disappearance, the disappearance of George Hurst. I want to go... Yeah, I want to go talk to the lady. Uh, Whitechapel. We need to go to 5-something street. I think. I still want to see bubbles burst, bursting out of that pipe. Uh, I wonder if there's a mod for that. Not North Street, but I believe it is this direction. Dorset. Five, I think 5 Dorset is what I want. 14. 13. Uh, what? 11. Ten? Ten? Where's number five? <laughs> Is it down this way? <sighs> Come on. Don't I need to talk to her? Where's the missing poster? No. 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 Where did it go? Dorset Street. So where is it? Is this guy hurting himself with the saw? Is that what I keep hearing? Where, Where is number five? Why are there no numbers on those? So we got 16, 11, 15, 12. So this side is counting down, and this side is counting up. This is really rude. I don't like that. <clears throat> and there's number four. So is five nearby? There's three. What number is this one? Seven. One. These numbers don't make any sense. I'm going to have to talk to the city planning commission because... I think this is I think this is number five, but nobody's answering. 
So what am I supposed to be doing then? understand why I can't talk to the lady who's missing the man. So what else am I going to do? to look at for my archives? My archive. No. You can always consult with it if needed. What do you have to say, Watson? Holmes, we need to help poor Tom. Well, no shit, but... My analysis. Nope. Still can't look at my telescope. Kate wouldn't like it if I entered her room without her knowledge. <laughs> but we can walk into it when it's Watson's room. suppose we could see if there's anything to say to Tom about the special job. I don't know that we've really learned much of value there. Was there more that I should have said to Lord What's-His-Name? something new here Mr. Holmes do you have any news about my father Tom Tom not so fast I wanted to ask you if you remember your father mentioning anything about a special education program an education program no he only talked about a special job what's this box Tom oh yeah I just found it Mr. Holmes it was ever so well hidden I've no idea why. Well done, my boy. It could prove very helpful. Okay, good. Je suis pressed wolf jack. Wolf jack. Looks like a military badge. A ramrod to clean a rifle. This oil can also be used on weapons. Tom, does your father own a rifle? A rifle? No. If he had, he would have shown it me. I'm sure that he wouldn't have shown it you. I need to find this rifle. Well, where would it be except upstairs, right? It's gotta be up the stairs. scrap of cloth was used to oil a firearm. Tom, does your father have any other property? No. Well, at least I don't think so. I have to take Toby. He'll take a sniff of the oil, and we'll find that rifle. Good. Well, at least we're making progress again. In any case, uh, I think that's it for episode two of Sherlock Holmes Double D. So come back and see me again in episode three, and we'll be a dog for a while. And then play with a gun. Talk to you soon.